from NBC News, this is Today. This morning on Today's Kitchen, a Mexican twist on Italian favorites. Next time you've got a craving for pasta and meatballs, you might want to shake it up a bit with some saffron, chipotle, and salsa. Chef Ivy Stark's new cookbook is Dos Caminos, a Mexican street food. 120 authentic recipes to make at home. Ivy, good to see you. Good morning. So this is really a great idea, taking something, kind of shaking up what we normally make. Absolutely, and this is a uniquely Mexican way of cooking pasta, mm -hmm. and it really adds a great flavor. Um, these are fideos. Um, you can buy them if you have a Mexican market near you already broken up like that. Or right. you can take some vermicelli pasta yeah. or even spaghetti. Whatever you have is fine. And you break it up a little bit. You can put the kids to work. This is a great job for the kids to do. <laughs> I like that. Make sure they wash That's, their hands. Yes, right. absolutely. All right, now how do we toast this? Okay, so I just put this in the oven mm -hmm. um, on about 400 degrees, and you have to watch it because it happens fairly quickly. But we toast it until it's golden brown. And, and that's the color that comes out. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. Adds a really nice nutty mm -hmm. flavor to the pasta and different depths. Right. So then um, we are uh, have some heavy cream here. Okay. We're gonna make it with saffron cream. You could also use regular spaghetti sauce right. if you wanted to. Um, I'm adding some saffron to the cream. Let that simmer. So it's going to give that that golden color. That's exactly what happens. See, it, it's already starting to get that golden color. Ooh, look at that. Let me let that simmer for a few minutes, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to add it to some garlic that I already have here softening. Right. And nice got, and golden So it's on, brown. A low, on a kind of a low flame. Low flame. You don't want to burn your garlic. It'll be bitter, and that's that happens fairly quickly, Yeah, and too. we don't want to get bitter. No bitter. No, no there's bitterness. enough bitterness in our lives. Absolutely. This is all about fun. So um, we let that simmer until it's reduced, mm -hmm. and that takes about three, four minutes. And what we have here is the reduced cream, and you see it's become this beautiful, bright yellow color. Right. And I've added the noodles to it until they're cooked through. Oh, wow. Okay, and so you actually cook the noodles in this sauce. Yes, it's a very unique way, and it's very different from Italian cooking in that you don't drain the liquid out. You mm -hmm. actually cook it in the liquid, sort of like rice. So it makes its own sauce right there. It makes its own sauce. The starch from the pasta sort of thickens everything up. Now you're putting it on a, on, a, on a baking sheet. How come? I am, because I'm going to put it into to the oven again ah, mm -hmm. and just broil the top a little bit so you get a nice crispy coating on wow, top so you have the that. soft noodles underneath uh -huh. and then a crispy crunchy so top. you got this nice mix of textures in there exactly okay what do we got going back okay, here take, take this with me okay <laughs> I have some meatballs here, mm -hmm. and this is a mixture of uh, pork, veal, and beef. So you could make it with, if you wanted to cut down a little, you could make it with tur uh, ground turkey or chicken. Absolutely, you could, certainly, mm -hmm. and it would be great with this sauce with turkey as well. Um, but for this purpose, uh, as we do at the restaurant at Dos Caminos, we do uh, the beef. And it's got a little garlic and onion and a little bit of cotija cheese inside, which oh. is a little aged Mexican cheese. Oh, nice. All right. And so you saute those up? Saute those up. And the nice thing about this, too, is you can freeze them. Ah. Freeze them in the sauce. Mm -hmm. Save them for the Super Bowl. So now how, what are we putting in here to get the sauce started? Okay. So I have a roasted onion that uh -huh. I've roasted till it's golden brown and some roasted garlic. Okay. And I'm going to add these tomatoes. And right now it's not quite really tomato season, so I'm going to add some canned tomatoes. All right. I'm adding some chipotle chilies, yes. which is a smoked jalapeno. Mm -hmm. And what spices are we putting in? I have got Mexican oregano, epazote, mm -hmm. and cilantro, cinnamon, cumin, and allspice. And you just kind of blend that up and Blend then it up and it, it becomes this. Wow, wow. it smells oh, really that. good. Thank you. I think it's that you... cinnamon cumin combination, the allspice. Yeah. And then you put the uh, meatballs in We add the in meatballs there. to it. Right in Very there. Nice. Oh man, that smells good. Oh, and then wow. you serve this over rice? We serve it over rice. You could serve it over pasta too. You could, you could serve it right on top of that pasta. Oh, oh now yeah, we're talking. Now you're talking. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little mini there platter of heaven wow, right there. A, Where's Natalie's plate? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We all share here oh, on the Today Show. Oh, yes, we do. Ivy Stark, thank you so thank very much. Thank you. Recipes on our website, today.com. And thank coming you. up, Kathy Lee and Hoda are going to find out the secrets to online dating success. It's all coming up after your local news and weather. We're going to dive right into it. We're going to get a forecast. Thank you.